Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, well, some of you might actually find that uh, it's uh, going to be a little more complicated for now using uh, virtual machines to run Windows 11. It uh, seems that uh, Windows 11 is no longer compatible with Oracle's virtual box. So for those that uh, don't know what that is, Oracle has a virtual machine that you can actually uh, download and enable to run, for example, Windows. You can run Linux, you can run all sorts of things in there. It's kind of a computer. Um, it's like the sandbox that exists within um, Windows Pro versions and, um, of course, Enterprise. But if you are on the home version, the Windows Sandbox does not exist within the home version of Windows 11 like it does not exist in Windows 10. But you have a alternative. You can download the Oracle Virtual Box and that enables you to run any instances of Windows, for example, um, in a Virtual Box. So you might be running Windows 11, but you could use the Virtual Box to run Windows 10. That would um, work. But if you're on Windows 10 and you're thinking that, oh, I'm going to use the virtual box from Oracle to run Windows 11, it seems that the uh, minimum requirements that are the TPM 2.0 um, and Secure Boot are uh, leaving behind a lot of people that will not be able to run. So um, basically uh, anything in virtual machines are not going to work. So Microsoft actually did talk about it a little bit and says uh, bills includes a change that align, aligns the enforcement of the Windows 11 system requirements on virtual machines to be the same as it is for physical PCs. So that means that virtual machines won't have the capability of running um, Windows 11. So um, this is going to be kind of interesting because that means a lot of people that maybe were thinking, well, at first I might be running Windows 11, a virtual machine and Oracle's virtual machine are going to be confronted with the fact that it's just not going to work. So um, kind of uh, maybe sad. Now, one of the things that maybe could be of interest here is that a lot of people out there will tweak the uh, image. So um, it's possible that by tweaking the image, maybe you'll be able to, to run it. But by default, the image itself and the way that it runs won't run in uh, Windows, in the uh, Oracle virtual uh, box, unfortunately. So, uh, you know, all of these little things happening like that, just, I don't know, it's kind of another nail in the... Uh, uh, in, in the problematic Windows 11 launch and what uh, people actually expect from the new system. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.